Hello everyone, uh, welcome to this Jamie tutorial. In this tutorial, we will learn about the HTTP test script recorder in JMeter. So, let's begin. Now, first let's understand why we need this HTTP recorder and then we will see practically how we can use this HTTP recorder for our script creations. Okay, so let's open the test we created earlier and understand this problem. Okay, so this was a test we created earlier and here in this particular test what we did is that we only used one http request so we hit this particular application only with different set of users and we were seeing some results here okay so that's what we did but in real time what happens is that we have to check the performance of the different complete scenarios so your scenario might be you know coming onto the application login then check out so there are certain steps you need to perform as a user for in order to complete that particular scenario. And you also need to monitor the performance of that particular scenario. And now if we talk about the scenario, the problem here is that there might be multiple HTTP requests throughout this scenario. Okay, so let's see what, uh, what we are talking about here. So open the browser here and just let's open the inspect here and go to this network tab here i'm just going to let's suppose google.com okay and you will see different http requests going on here and then here we are searching like jmeter official website okay then open opening this one and you can see there are continuously so many requests going on in the background okay opening this one then you might be going to some link here okay so there are multiple HTTP requests going on if you perform certain task on the application or if you are completing one flow, right? And problem is that if you copy each and every HTTP request from here and map here back in the, you know, uh, into the JMeter, it would be a time consuming and it will, you know, uh, create already problems for you because you need to copy each and everything in order to make uh, your complete scenario. So this is a problem, okay? So in order to solve this problem in Gmeter, we have this script recorder. Now what this script recorder will do for us? So you need to start the recorder, okay? And perform your actions here in, you know, on the browser level. So whatever you perform on the browser level, it will capture all the HTTP requests and map those HTTP requests here in the JMeter for you. So this is a concept. This is a benefit of using this HTTP recorder. Okay. Now uh, let's learn this uh, practically. Okay. For that, just go to this file option, click on new, and on the test plan level, just add a thread group. Okay. And again, just go back to this test plan and go to add go to non-test elements and then click on this http test recorder okay so here in http test recorder we have multiple options like name comments we have option to start recording then we have some global settings test plan we have some sampler settings so there are multiple settings but the key settings are basically the global settings and where we want to capture these requests okay so let's understand how this actually works so basically what we will do is that we will create a local proxy okay on a port okay so we will create a local proxy using a port so what happens is that we need to define a port for jmeter okay so we need to define port for jmeter and we also need to define port on browser okay so for example if we have defined 8080 port on both uh, you know browser level and on the gmeter level okay so what happens is that whatever the data travel through this port okay this particular 8080 port will be captured by the gmeter because gmeter is sitting on this particular port 8080 okay and whatever the data is going through this port using the browser will be captured by the gmeter so this is a concept so what we need to do we need to define port on gmeter okay then we need to provide port 
on browser level okay and then we need to define a local proxy so whatever data travel through my local uh, you know network or proxy will be captured here okay like local proxy okay now just open this jmeter now here just let's uh, you know assume uh, we should go with the 8080 right now provide the name just uh, you can provide any name okay so let's uh, right now go with this the you know uh, by default name here and then just go to the browser now and go to the options here and here in the options uh, you need to search for proxy okay in the network settings you will find that one go to settings select manual proxy configuration you need to provide the local host here okay and you need to provide the port which you will be providing here in the gmeter okay so the port number should be same on the browser and as well as in the jmeter okay and then you need to click ok now you have defined and configured the local proxy so that you can start recording now just go back to the jmeter okay and here in the test script recorder just let's start this one okay and let's see so it's asking for some certificate okay we need to provide that certificate okay i'm stopping right now because it will not capture our request because we need to provide a certificate so now from where we get this certificate so as soon as we start the recording here the jmeter will generate a certificate in the main folder okay so just let's go back here and you will see here in the bin directory basically you will find this apache jmeter temporary root ca so this is a security certificate okay now we need to add this security certificate in the browser okay so go back to the browser here and on the browser level now search for certificates okay view certificates and uh, you can import okay import this uh, particular certificate okay trust trust okay click ok and then ok now just open this one again and see either you have imported the certificate successfully or not just click on this one okay so we have successfully you know imported this jmeter certificate okay now we are good to go with our recording now just go back to the jmeter okay and let's start the recording you will find uh, this pop-up again but right now we have already added this certificate so it will not create a problem now okay now just go back to the browser okay and go to the google.com okay okay I, now i'm performing some actions okay so it will capture all my actions which i which i will be performing on this browser okay let's search for jmeter official website okay and just click on this apache jmeter website okay so just stop this now but before stopping this one you can name this one like for example i'm naming it as search jmeter website okay and stop this one okay now just go back to the gmeter and let's see either it has captured anything for us or not here in the test plan what we did is that we decided a folder here a transition controller would be test plan into the thread group so whatever we will capture it will place all those requests in this thread group okay test plan then thread group now we, we see this we have this arrow now click on this one and you see there are so many transition get being recorded okay so we did some search okay okay right we open this jmeter we search for this one right so whatever we performed it got captured here but the problem here is that when we record it it recorded so many things the first problem is that you can see this success.txt okay now this success.txt is basically browser related transactions okay 
and we really don't need those in our test also there are so many other things which got captured but we don't need those one so how we can filter those data while recording okay so for that what we need to do is that we need to go here in the test script recorder okay and here we have some request filtering options okay just click on this one here we need to provide a pattern which we should which we gonna include or exclude while recording right so we will provide some pattern so while recording this recorder will either include or exclude that kind of a pattern for example if you don't know how to create a pattern here so in the exclude session go with the add suggested excludes okay so it created a regex for you so this means that it will exclude dot bmp dot css dot js dot jf okay so it has provided these files so whenever you record it will exclude this one similarly if you want to include something you can include only that particular file extension and the pattern okay so that's how you can record and uh, let's add in the thread group let's add some listener and let's see what happens here okay i'm not you know filtering out unnecessary requests right now but actually in the real time obviously we need to remove all unnecessary transaction happened okay so we have added this beauty results we are good and now just let's run this one and see what happens okay so you need to name it okay so i'm naming it as search jmeter and save now okay it will start executing okay and if we go here in this in the results basically you will see this one okay so it is start executing and we are getting the success request in actual but problem here is that besides our actual scenario there are so many other transition get captured but we just right now learn how we can remove unnecessary transitions while recording okay now uh, let's see some other ways to use this http recorder and if you remember in our initial sessions we learned about the templates okay so just for a quick reminder let me open the folder here and in the bin folder actually we have this templates folder so we have templates okay so we have different templates available here right we have this recording.jmx recording with the thing time so now let's use this one okay for that just open the jmeter here click on file click on new one okay don't save it right now okay then again click on the file click on the templates okay from here in the drop down menu we have to select that one so we have two recording options here okay one is simple recording and other one is with a thing time so first let's open this recording one okay and just click create so it is asking for the host and all the things so just create click on create okay we can provide this later on okay so host name so whatever the host name is uh, we want to gonna use will provide here so we haven't learned about this user defined variables http request then http cookie manager so don't worry about these things we will learn later but right now just understand this how we can utilize these templates so you see that we have this http recorder by default it's, it is disabled you need to enable this one again uh, you know you need to configure and start recording that's it you need you do not need to go and add each and everything here in the in the test plan and then again the thread group and all the things so this is the benefit of using the templates similarly we have another template okay for recording that was recording with a think time okay just click on create now and again we have this one but right now you will see that we have some uniform random timer here which was not pr present in the previous template so why this happened so basically we haven't again we haven't learned about the timer but the concept here is that whenever you record a script 
it should mimic the user behavior for example if you are going on to the browser okay and open a new tab okay then you would be typing your desired you know website and you see that it is taking some time okay we are not entering it as it is you know without taking any time we being a human we are taking some time to perform actions okay for example i am writing jmeter official site okay so i am taking some time right so in order to maintain this user time we would be using these timers in the jmeter okay so this is a concept so this is the idea so whenever you are recording that's why it has added this random timer okay so purpose of timer here is to maintain some user delays thank you for watching this tutorial we hope that you have learned something today if you are liking our content please do subscribe our channel like share and comment and once again thank you so much and see you in the next lecture